Quick question. Did you know that financial statements, i.e. balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement have different time coverage? Well, my name is Bela Gautis. I'm an expert finance trainer and professional. And in today's video, I'm gonna do my best to explain the relationship between financial statements, time coverage, and how we can represent them on a timeline. Let's get into the content. Let's start talking about the income statement. So an income statement is a statement that shows how much the company has generated in revenues along with the gains versus how much the company incurred expenses along with the losses. Now, of course, the net result of the above would be either called the net profit or the net loss. However, what you need to know is that the income statement covers a period of time. It has a beginning and it has an end. So the income statement literally falls in between two dots, two points in time. This is the first dot and this is the second dot. Now imagine that the first dot is December 31, 2023 and the second dot is December 31, 2024. So the income statement covers the period in between these two points in time. And guess what? We could even extend this timeline to show December 31, 2025. So we could also have another income statement covering another period of time from December 31, 2024 till December 31, 2025. Now you need to know that the income statement isn't always covering a year. It covers a period of time, which could be, for example, one week, one month, one quarter, semi-annual, and of course, annual, which is a full year. So this brings me to the second statement that we have to talk about. What's a balance sheet? Well, a balance sheet is a statement that shows what the company owns versus what the company owes to others, i.e. we're looking at assets versus liabilities and equity. And of course, you know that assets should always be equal to liabilities and equity. Now, the thing is, the balance sheet is a statement that shows us a point in time. It's at a point in time. Thus, what we can notice is that we could have a balance sheet over here, a balance sheet over here, and a balance sheet over here. So the balance sheet is literally like a snapshot. It's like a picture. It shows me what the company has and what it owes to others at a specific point in time. To connect both statements together, the income statement is a statement that shows me the revenues gains, expenses, losses, and of course, the result would be the net profit. And then this result, which is the net profit for this specific period of time will be poured right into the balance sheet of this point in time. Whatever is the result, let's say it is $30,000, it will be moved right into the balance sheet of this point in time. Into what account? Into the retained earnings account, which is part of the equity section. However, there's still one point which is missing. What about cash? Well, we know that cash is a balance sheet account. So imagine we had a cash balance in 2023 of $40. And in 2024, the balance sheet shows that we had a balance of $120. So we could see that there's an increase in cash by $80. But the question is why? 
See, answering the question is not possible with the income statement or with the balance sheet. Thus, we have to look at a third statement, which is the cash flow statement. The cash flow statement is also a statement that covers a period of time. The cash flow statement has a coverage, a time coverage, which is the same as that of the income statement. So it's a statement that covers a period of time. It shows me what happened to the company's cash during this period of time. And it shows us what happened to cash in three different sections. In the operations section, in the investment section, and in the financing section. So, if I really want to understand how I went from $40 all the way to $120, I have to look at the cash flow statement. And if I want to get more details, I have to examine each part of the cash flow statement alone and then reach a conclusion when I look at the cash flow statement in a comprehensive way. So, for example, I could look at the sources of cash in and the operations and the sources of cash out, the sources of cash in in investing and the sources of cash out, the sources of cash in in financing and the sources of cash out. After I take a look at all three different departments in the cash flow statement, I will see that the net result of all these cash ins and out is an increase of 80. So now I can explain how I ended up from having $40 to having $120. And keep in mind that the result of the cash flow statement will always be the same cash balance that we find in the balance sheet at this specific point in time. For example, in this balance sheet, I had a cash balance of 40. Here in the balance sheet, I should have a cash balance of 120. How will I confirm this? Well, the cash flow statement is the statement that confirms the cash balance in the balance sheet by looking at the beginning balance of cash, the change in cash balances during this period of time, and then of course the conclusion will be the cash balance at the ending point in time. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the content. If you have any question, please drop it in the comments section. If not, I hope that you give me that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. See you in the next one.